All right, hello and welcome. This is Jason Welsh, and today we are going to be doing a little additive level. All right, so in an additive level, unlike a subtractive level, you don't live in the ground, and um, basically you can have uh, anything floating out in the middle of the world, and you have to have the sky dome in order for it to work. Because if you didn't have the sky dome, what'll happen is you'll see forever. Uh, the game engine won't understand what forever is because forever could be, you know, eternity for a game engine. So you'll get all kinds of weird looking nodes floating around if you don't have the sky dome. And I'll show you where all the sky domes are. And what I'm standing on is just a block. Okay? So that's another thing we're going to be looking at this lesson is how to put terrain down because. Uh, you might want height on top of this so you can actually have like little hills and valleys and I'll show you how to edit all that real time alright so that's this lesson and I hope you enjoy okay so our first scenario is to set up something very cool in fact here's one with uh, a moving sky even and um, what I'm going to do is start out brand new and go file new and I want additive this time instead of subtractive and I don't want to save. All right, so first off, let's set up our little land that we stand on. So we're just going to go with the block method right now, and then we'll go on with the uh, the actual train method in the next lesson. So for this one, I want to right click here and go to 1024, 1024, 1024, and hit build. And what I'm going to do then is zoom in on this little block and squish it up some. So this is our essentially little island in our world. And then I'll hit additive. Okay, if we want to assign a material to it, you can. But right now I'm just going to go in and say, click on it, add actor, add player start. And then I'll add a little light to the scenario. You still have to add a light to this. and build all and play level very easy stuff okay and this is what I'm getting when I went into the actual game so something that's mirroring a thousand thousand million trillion times over and I could see myself over and over again where I was in fact I see some of the scene that I had earlier and some of the browser over on the left hand side so this is what happens when you don't have a skybox. Okay, very ugly stuff. Okay, now let's add the skybox. First, we have to go get the skybox package. So go on a generic file, open, and page over to uh, Program Files 86, Microsoft Games, Gears of War, War Game, Cooked PC, Environments. So I'll start here just to kind of show you what that looks like. Environments. Sky domes. Sky domes. Okay, this way I get my sky dome package. And if we click on up at the top material and also static mesh down here towards the bottom, I am clicked on sky domes. So now I can see all these sky domes and I can see my the ones in blue are actually the sky domes themselves these are the materials that run the sky domes okay now some sky domes react differently with different globes like uh... let's see this sky dome one fits these packages up here i think and the sky dome one a fits these packages down here and you're just gonna have to experiment to which ones line up with what uh... there is no instruction manual of course so it's just haphazardly burning through. So I've been using A lately and having good results. So I'm going to click on my world and say add actor, add sky dome A. Okay, then just to make sure I'm on the right path, I'm going to click on here and go to my blue moving cloud one 
And if you want to see how the clouds are moving, if you go to Material Editor, you'll actually start seeing how these things are put together as far as like all these other nodes I didn't show you. So, do to do all kinds of crazy stuff. Yeah, and it keeps going on and on and on. So, as you can see, some of the textures are just moving in place and there's alphas running the show. And sometimes it's just a multiply feature that's actually making the clouds move. So that's a good way to learn the materials and how to uh, interact with them. Like what the heck's a lerp and how does lerp work? Okay, so in here I'll go and click on my geometry and go to materials, go to none, and assign materials from generic browser. So again that stick, materials, assign material from generic browser. Okay, and there we go, we have our sky dome. Okay, sky dome nearly is not big enough. So what I'm gonna do is find the edge of my world. Zoom back in and carefully and I mean ever so carefully uh, zoom out grab this and hit the unifor uniform scale button and scale this out now once you get it to a certain point it's going to scale to the point where you can't see it and you have to hit undo so scale it very carefully okay again uh, and there's no scaling it back either. So you don't need it really big, but it really helps to have it big. The bigger it is, the more believable it is. I'm just going to go right about there and say, yeah, that looks good. Okay, another thing is, if I was just to launch it now, I would see underneath it. So what I have to do is edit, duplicate it, and then rotate it. like that. Okay, now I've seen a lot of the levels here. They don't have moving clouds on both of them. So there's, you know, a few other ones in here you might want to try like this one for the bottom half of it. So you can see this one's neutral and the other one's animated. And that's usually how it went. So I'll hit build all. And play level. And there I go. I have my night sky. Then below it, I have a sky. Usually, I won't even see this bottom sky. Usually, you'll have something like terrain or something covering the entire area. Uh, probably not that much terrain because you could walk forever and yeah. So, about right here is good for a little sandbox. I wouldn't, I wouldn't go too much. I wouldn't go way out there. All right, so now I'll show you how terrain works and how that setup is falls into place.